This tablet is used to treat infections of certain parasites, such as schistosoma and liver flukes. Treating these infections can help improve your health and quality of life. Praziquantel belongs to a class of drugs known as anthelmintics, which work by killing and paralyzing the parasites. This causes them to release their hold on the blood vessel walls so the body can naturally remove them. The daily dosage and optimal timing for taking this medication should be discussed with a healthcare professional. When taking Praziquantel tablets, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions. Usually, you will take it three times a day, about four to six hours apart, for just one day. It's best to take the tablets with a full glass of water and with a meal to avoid any stomach discomfort. Don't chew or suck on the tablets, as the taste can be unpleasant. If you have trouble swallowing the tablets, you can crush them and mix the medication with soft foods or liquids. Just be sure to take the mixture within an hour of mixing it. The dosage of praziquantel is based on your medical condition, weight, and how you respond to the treatment. The tablets have lines to help you break them into the correct dose, but you should ask your pharmacist for guidance on how to do this properly. While taking praziquantel, it's best to avoid consuming grapefruit or grapefruit juice, as it can increase the chance of side effects. If you notice your symptoms getting worse after starting this medication, be sure to contact your doctor right away. If you experience headache, dizziness, stomach pain, nausea, tiredness, weakness, joint-slash-muscle pain, loss of appetite, vomiting, or sweating while taking praziquantel tablets, don't worry, these side effects are usually mild and temporary. They may actually be a sign that the medication is working to kill the parasites in your body. However, if these effects persist or worsen, it's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know right away. It's also important to remember that your doctor has prescribed this medication because they believe the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. In fact, many people who take praziquantel do not experience any serious side effects. However, if you do notice any serious side effects such as bloody diarrhea, fever, irregular-slash-slow heartbeat, or seizures, it's important to contact your doctor immediately. While it's rare, a serious allergic reaction to this medication is possible. If you notice symptoms such as rash, itching-slash-swelling, especially of the face-slash-tongue-slash-throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek medical help right away. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects not mentioned here, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist for advice. If you're in the U.S., you can report any side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before taking praziquantel, it's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you are allergic to it or if you have any other allergies. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions or other problems, so it's essential to discuss this with your pharmacist for more details. It's also important to inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history before using this medication, especially if you have liver disease, irregular heart rhythm, parasitic eye infection, parasitic brain infection, or seizures. While taking this medication, it may make you feel dizzy during treatment and the day after. Avoid alcohol or marijuana as they can increase dizziness. It's important not to drive, use machinery, or do anything that requires alertness until you can do so safely. Limit alcoholic beverages and talk to your doctor if you are using marijuana. If you are pregnant, this medication should only be used when clearly needed. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. Additionally, this drug passes into breast milk, so consult your doctor before breastfeeding. It's important to be aware of any potential interactions with other medications. Certain drugs may affect how praziquantel works in your body. This includes medications like azole antifungals, chloroquine, dexamethasone, macrolide antibiotics, rifamycins, St. John's wort, and some drugs used to treat seizures. It's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist and keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription slash non-prescription drugs and herbal products. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval.
If someone has taken too much praziquantel and is experiencing severe symptoms such as fainting or difficulty breathing, it is important to seek immediate medical assistance by calling 911 or the local poison control center. In the U.S., residents can contact their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while Canadian residents can call a provincial poison control center for assistance. It's important not to share this medication with others. While taking praziquantel tablet, your doctor may request lab or medical tests to be done, such as examining urine or stool, or performing a biopsy of infected tissue. If you have a heart condition, you may require additional monitoring. It's crucial to keep all medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. If you forget to take a dose, just take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and take the next dose at your regular time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. It's important to store praziquantel tablets at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Make sure to keep them in a safe place, away from children and pets. When it comes to disposing of the medication, do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Instead, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for proper disposal when the product is expired or no longer needed. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.